Welcome back. Wait, welcome to shit. Welcome. Hi. Hey. Hi, we're playing card hunters. We're playing card hunters. Um, if you don't know about this game, uh, you're gonna love it. If you uh, don't know about those three characters. So these three guys down here, right? These three little little miniatures here. Some of you may recognize them. If you do, good for you. Um, it's Omen Dran, Jim Dark Magic, and Binwin Broadsbottom. This is the the players of Acquisition Incorporated, which is a fantastic live D and D show. It's amazing. Um, on YouTube, check them out. They are fucking amazing. They're hilarious. Anyway, this is basically Why the, bu the bard. He should be here. Yeah, I know. Uh, he's not though. Anyway, too bad. Um, to ask for it. This is basically uh, Dungeons and Dragons in card form, and I love it. So me and Shane are here. Yep. I um, wanted to check it out, but I would rather do it with him and my usual. I have no idea what's going on yet. It's a new series. So hi, I'm Dave. I'm Shane. Uh, in case it's your first time checking out CQG, uh, we love D&D. &D. We play Pathfinder. Which is basically D&D 3.5 with a little more, well, different rules and world. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. Um, I, I, I've already played through this to skip past the tutorial page. Um, but so yes, we did do the Green Dragon. But rest assured, this is level one. This is the first, yep. first, you know, mission. This is where the tale begins. Um, this is our DM up here. He's going to lead us through what's going on. Our tale begins in Carthuntria in the Orc's Head Tavern. Uh, another game with Dave doing voices. An old man staggers to the door, blood streaming from his side. Uh -oh. Help! Monsters are attacking the village. Who will save us? Huh. All right, so we're going to click a tab to choose Dwarven, Human, or Elven Warriors, okay. and then we're going to recruit one. So real quick, pause the video. After I talk about this, though, what? What? you're going to go look at Warhammer, and you're going to see dwarves, right? So oh. what do you think we're gonna go with? Oh, we love dwarves. Oh god, we love dwarves. So um, I'm gonna go with. Wait, you want to do dwarf warrior? Like I'm, I'm willing. To, I'm open to debate here. Dwarven, um, dwarven warrior. There are benefits and negatives to each one. Wait, um, wait. There's negatives to a dwarf. Well, yeah. I mean, he's he's a lot slower. He can only he, he can you know only, he's got short little stubby legs. Yeah, that's okay because he, he's got higher health. Yeah, but he he's also like you know those can, villains in you know horror movies. He's gonna catch you. Uh, that's true. He's like a Jason fig yep. figure. Um, so yeah, like the human warriors are pretty balanced. They've got 14 health and three movement. Elves have six, have 12 health and four movement. Dwarves have 16 health and, and two movement. So they are the, 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 wall. the, the tankies of the wall. So having a wall up front, it's a good idea. We so usually like that. We're going to recruit that one. Uh, what do you want to call him? He's, um, he's Grongal right now, but we can mm. name him. We can name whatever you, whatever you want. Dwinbar. Dwinbar? All right, Dwinbar it is. What Dwin Bar is up to when you know <laughs> he's not fucking Dwin around with our armies? Dwin Bar hears the call to adventure, strides over from the bar, and pledges to help the old man. Yay! Yay! <laughs> and it's time for your first adventure. Click the exit to return to the map. Okay. So we get to choose the other ones later, I guess. Oh, with his last breath, the old man gasps and points towards the nearby village of Omelette. Omelette? Omelette. Omelette du fromage? Oh. Um, so yeah, you get three characters total, I believe. Um, a warrior, a paladin, and a mage. Um, but right now we just have a warrior. These raiders should be pretty easy for someone who's already defeated Green Fang. Green Fang is a tutorial dragon. Don't get distracted by that. So, kobolds are raiding the peaceful village of Omelette, slaughtering the villagers and plundering their, their meager possessions. Will the brave adventurers step up to send these vicious bandits packing? The peasants will surely reward anyone valiant enough to aid them stopping the raid on Omelette. So it plays out like it's set up just like an old school D and D adventure, and I love it. Huh. I guess starting properly will, uh, will at least give me a chance to explain a few more of the rules for you. Oh, uh, village of Omelette's like. peaceful existence is torn asunder by a din of battle. A cobalt raiding party is ascended from the hills and set about ruthlessly sacking the small community. Drawing your sword, you rush to repel the invaders. Yay! Will do, baby. Will do. We're on our oh. So this is how it plays. It's. Ah. It's like D&D. &D. It's like a like a visual Hoo style D&D. &D. Hooey, these Cobalt Raiders are in a group that shares a single deck. So here's my deck and there's their deck. So I can't see their cards, um, except for their walk card. You can play, like your turn goes until you're, like you can play all these cards, one at a time until, until you can't like run out. Um, so I'll show you what I mean by that. First of all, um, let's use a walk card and we're gonna walk two steps over here. So now, yeah. now their turn, right? They're gonna play a walk card too. Um, so they can both move at once. But I'm gonna fight just one. Uh, what's... Weak strike? Mm. 
Um, I forgot how to. Oh, there we go. Um, so oh, it's a new card. That's what it is. Okay. So it's two damage, one range. So I got a four damage here though that I'm gonna use instead. Let's go ahead and smack him down to two health. So he's gonna be with a two. Pfft, please. Uh, so we hit him with a two now. Knock him out without wasting the four. Yep. Target down, baby. Oh, did he just run? Yep, uh, so he just moved uh, forward again. All right, so now I'm out of cards. So the only way to get more cards is to pass my turn. He's got, I think he's no out. No cards either. I think he's out of cards too, so we're gonna, he's ended his turn. I ended my turn, new round starts. Huh. Start of each round, you always draw one bonus move card. Because you chose a dwarf, you just get walk, slow card, default move. Then you draw two more cards from your deck. Nice. So see, now we have, we have armor. Armor's good. So uh, when you would take damage, prevent one point of that damage instead. And you keep this card so it doesn't go away. So we always have a negative one right now. And, nice. Unless he has some way of removing armor. Uh, which there are cards that do that. But anyway, he's fucking dead. <laughs> doesn't fucking matter. Look at that, we get a fucking exploding unicorn with wings. Onward! The village is saved nice. and the remaining Cobalt Raiders scamper off into the fields. The Griffin villagers reward you handsomely. The task now remains to track these miscreants back to their lair and put a stop to the attacks. That's a big Cobalt head. Yeah, right? Yay! So here's the, uh, yay! So Windbar found some loot. Here's the, the inventory page. Open treasure chest to claim your prize. Open it up. I was like, really nothing? <laughs> Amber shards. They should be worth several gold pieces. Click the take all and finish button to move on. What else? Uh, but, but, uh, what, shut up. What is this? A oh, pickled, pickled herring. herring. Okay. Uh, Amber shards. All right, just take all. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I put it back to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you go back in the chest now. Head to hey. the army to exchange your loot for something useful. Will do, baby. Yay! So I, I actually played this game when it was in beta um, a long time ago, and I don't remember. Oh, uh, so just like it's, it's, drag it's, onto his thing. It's very different from what it, what it was then. Um, sell the amber shards. You found my dragon. Them from your collecting the blue sheet. Okay. Cool. Huh. Yep. I know the the cards are relevant, like based on the gear, because you don't have a weapon in the slot. Your deck only has these weak cards in it. But should we give him a weapon? A woodsman axe. That's pretty good. All, look, 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 you, you can see what like that weapon has those cards attached to it. Oh, nice. So I know if I buy that weapon and I equip it, yeah. I'm gonna get those cards. Huh. Nice. That's really cool. You can click on the space bar, see the cards close up, or right click on them. So yeah, so now I have you know better attacks because I have a better weapon. Um, this guy doesn't have anything else, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually sell this weapon. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, uh, okay, it won't let me because it's not... Does he have two hands for weapons? I don't think he has a shield equipped. You know what? I think you're right. Yep, we can double up the weapons so we can get more cards. Good call. I can sell that, though. Ooh, too old. All right, so... Hopefully we don't need pickled herring later. Ah, who needs pickled herring? Yay. I don't know. Someone thought it was a treasure. Time to get back on the trail for those kobolds. Dunbar searches the fields for tracks and finds a trail leading into the wilderness. He's got good perception, because that's going way over there. Let's get started on the next module, the Cobalt Encampment. All right, cool. Following the trail of the footsteps and drop plunder, you find the Cobalt Raiders are camped in the woods a league from Omelet. A now league? is the time, oh, yeah. while they are squabbling over their loot, to strike back. Destroy the Cobalt Encampment and safeguard the village. For levels one and two. You pursue the Cobalt in the treacherous hills uh, surrounding Omelet. Before long, a musty stench alerts you to the presence of the mm. remaining Cobalt. It seems they are gathering their ill-gotten possessions and are making preparations to flee. It's up to you to stop them from uh, warning the main camp. I can do that. It looks like Munchkin artwork, for at least the dragon. It's fantastic. I Jeepers! Know. This time, there you're outnumbered three to one. Not to worry, I have a few hints that will help you out. Huh. Don't get flanked. <laughs> yeah, right. Enemies have to halt when they move next to you, so move to the yellow square to stop them from surrounding you. All right. I can do that. Blam! Oh. Yeah, you can't get past. Attacks of opportunity and Yeah, shit. these shield carrying kobolds have block cards. Use your weakest attacks first to draw them out. All right, so see, it's good to know because it physically has, like, visually has a shield there. All right. Um, so let's give it a weak strike, and we can choose since there's two targets here. We can choose which one we want to attack. So let's go with this one. Oh, see. Um, so when enemy plays a card affecting you, cancel that card. Um, Anything with four damage or less. Yeah, it triggers on, on a roll of three or more. So he rolled a two, so his block failed. Nice. <laughs> you getting all that, guys? I'm Ma getting it. Making sense so far? I'm only quiet because I'm just trying to figure out 
everything about the game too so i'm like enjoying just listening so i i did mess up though i should have hit that guy first because if i kill this guy he's gonna come right up if i kill this guy i could have waited a turn eh, but it's okay i failed again all right so he's out of cards so he passed i still have a card i can keep playing you can keep smacking things Oh, he failed again. Uh, sucks to suck. Gary dude, passed. It sucks when you're in that position. What's that? Um, what is it? Can't really attack. Kind of just stuck there. It's oh, like, yeah. Shit. <laughs> when you see new cards, remember to right click on them to see what special abilities they have. Uh, there's no abilities, right? Oh, oh, two different targets. It's got cleave. So he, he can cleave. That's so right. You're going to wait on that one. Um, he's only got, what, three health? Okay, yeah, so unless he blocks, unless which he, he probably blocks. will now. Yep. Yep. So he made it. All right, good. Because now... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Reaping straw. How'd you feel about that one? Um, we're gonna go ahead and pass on it because there's no reason You're to just walk. just gonna smack him. The game is really simple to pick up, but God, is it fun. Uh, so now, I, now I, we have two walk cards, too, so now we can actually walk yeah, two turns in a row if we wanted to. Um, I say you um, chop him again. So, he didn't block last time. This one. Oh, because it does five or more. If it does four or less, oh. it has a chance to block. You know what? You're right. Yep, so fuck him. He can't block it. Look at that. Yep. Onward! Having dispatched the raiding party, you overturn their camp and liberate what items they had. Searching the area reveals a cave mouth and a crude earthen tunnel leading to the darkness under the hills. Is this where the kobolds have come from? Only further adventures will tell. Um, I'm gonna go with yes. Yes, that's where they came from. Sorry. I, I inter My blam interrupted you. No, it's okay. We bloop blooped. <laughs> Huzzah! Dwinbar leveled up and has more health. Dwinbar also unlocked a new shield slot. Shields give you blocks and other defensive cards. Good. Oh, so we can have two so, weapons and a shield. Un uh, unreliable block. Is a huh. block any. Um, on a six, a six and up. So we have to roll six to do it. You block like a dog. <laughs> but remember that every dog has his day. I like it. They all have like pretty great, you know. Two dead foes are better than one. Dwarven greeting. <laughs> it's better than salutations. Yeah, I like I like them. Um, a lot of some some of their their notes are really funny. Ooh, a rare item, the Cobalt Killer. That should come in handy. Cobalt Killer. So level one rare weapon. That's got a ten attack on it. Take that sword spot. Blam. Absolutely. Then. Mm. You know, you surely head to the armor to get yourself a shield. Yeah. I hear there are new heroes, but in the tavern, too. All right, so let's go here. Get that new um, shield. Get that shield. Let's get a shield. Five gold. Done. So now we have three what? plus. Yep, three ups. That's good. Get rid of that. Can we sell that no. yet? No, okay. We still want to sell that. Um, Ten gold. Shiny earring. Yeah, we can get rid of that. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. let's go to the tavern. Let's find some new heroes. Ah, Ooh. wizards are here. Crafty wizards. Um, human wizards manipulate and damage from afar. They have a good balance of mobility and toughness, and at higher levels get access to human tactical planning skills. So again, they're about average. Um, elven wizards are renowned for the ability to annoy by casting spells from afar. Their natural mobility lets them dance out of danger more often than not. At higher levels, their elven skills uh, accentuate their, this mobility even further. So they have 8 health versus 10, uh, and they are a little more... Um, they're probably going to be way better at magic in the, the end, but... They're better at firing from afar. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> dwarven wizards. Dwarven wizards usually come out best in a range fight due to their high health. However, they ha may have trouble staying out of melee range due to their slow movement speed. At higher levels, oh. they can resist magic and shrug off Why damage. Why do they make dwarves so awesome? Oh, yeah, because they're the best. Dwarves are badass. Um, I'm, so... I don't know if I want to do the human wizard or the... I'm, I'm saying either human... Or possibly another dwarf. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking like the, too. The elf is cool, but I mean, either one of these. It's like the tactical planning, though. Let's give him a human. Yeah. Yeah. Let's give him a human. What do you want to call the human? King queen. No. It's not king queen. No. Um, uh, what do you want to call him? You come up with this one. Uh, is this one's me? Yeah, this one's you. Um. All right. Or I came up with Runbar at least. How about? Oops, my keyboard's turned off. How about Yay. that? Fizzle Sticks. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Fizzle Sticks has joined your party. Wizards are long-range attackers and can develop powerful magic, but they are fragile fighters. 
Let's pursue the kobolds. Return to the map and follow the tunnels in the darkness. If you dare. Um, I do believe we darest. We darest. Yeah. Oh, I should actually. Well, it's not, the source doesn't have anything anyway. Uh, so Melvin was right. It is cool. Melvin is his older brother, I believe, who, oh. who picks on him. Huh. Um, he's in the tutorial. Check it out. The game is fucking awesome and it's free. Uh, Melvin was right. It is cool building your own party this way, don't you think? Uh, so I think we're gonna start this next adventure path in the next episode. Oh yeah, so, we're definitely uh, coming back to this. I'm excited. Stay tuned for the for the uh, slaughter of the kobolds. Uh, everything gets slaughtered by us. I know. We like killing things. It's, it's fun. It's amazing. I'm enjoying this game so much right you now. You should see him when he GMs. Oh god. All right, guys. See you next episode. See you guys. Bye. Bye.